Okay, moving on to the LCD. Um, there's uh, really only a couple things you need for this part. One is you should have a copy of the pinout uh, in front. Again, I have it right there. Um, you need your uh, DVI connector. Uh, again, I have this one here. I just uh, drew some reference marks just around it just to make it easier to remember. Um, again, if you follow the right angles around, uh, you can see it. And I also advise you to have that picture up uh, just in case. But I know that all the way on the left at the bottom here is pin 1. That goes to pin 8. Middle row goes 9 to 16, and then uh, top row goes 17 to 24. Again, this is with the connector uh, facing um, away from me. Uh, so again, the pins are up. Uh, look at me, and I'm going to be pushing uh, the pins from the black wire uh, down on them. Now, there is some variation in this wire. Um, I suspect that this wire actually came from a replacement part. Uh, so I apologize uh, that the color is going to be slightly different than what you have probably. But again, um, it, it's really only one uh, one color goes to a different color, but that does affect a couple wires. So again, you have your brown, you have your green, you have your blue, and then this one is supposed to be red. Instead, it's this kind of gray off-white color. Um, but assume I've opened up many of these, and uh, I've almost always seen red. Uh, again, sometimes when you buy a replacement part, um, I have seen some color variation in one wire or another. However, there is another thing about this, I guess whatever put this together ran out of red wire entirely, is that these give off three wires each. A shield, which is black, a green wire, which is a negative polarity, and again, they're supposed to give off a red wire, but Again, they give off this kind of white slash uh, gray wire. Um, again, this particular one. So, again, I want you, and I'll make note of this on the chart, that what you're probably going to see is a four wires, a red, blue, green, and brown. But I have here, instead of the red, a gray. Each of these give off three wires, a green, a shield, and a red. But instead of red, again, I have the gray. So, Really, there's a difference of five wires here that are all supposed to be red, four small ones and one large one. Instead, they're gray colored here. Again, as I go through it, I'll tell you again, this is probably going to be red for you. I will make notices, notice of the, uh, note of this in the chart um, for the pinout. And please, if other people see this variation, um, let me know. But again, I suspect when I see something so... Um, kind of unusual um, that this is probably a, a replacement neck that I had um, and that's you know was manufactured separately and probably not really seen within the IMAX but again you know I could be wrong I probably opened about you know 10 of these necks or so so you know who knows maybe uh, it is uh, more common than I'm giving you credit for so anyway um, let's begin um, I'm just gonna go down my pinout so uh, reading from the top um, is a brown to red now again we have a brown, but the red is now going to be this white wire. And so this is actually the RX2 plus wire, and it's going to go in to pin number two. Just to make it easier, the one right below that is brown to green goes to pin one. So just to start, uh, you know, symmetrically, I'm just going to start with pin one. So again, one bottom left corner brown wire giving off green okay now this is the way TMDS works is that these are the signaling cable this is actually what's going to confer the image and what it has is a shield to kind of you know almost balance the two almost as a, a, a standard reference between the two and it's got a positive and a negative the three will always be together um, so it'll always you know be the uh, the positive um, it always go negative positive shield so okay okay so you can see pin one, here's the pin. Now I'm gonna put it in and I'm just gonna, there's no, you should not use any tools. It should fit in there almost like a glove. That you should not have to use much force and that's all. And you'll notice it's pretty secure. I mean, it's what's nice about this is that the worst case when you know you're playing around with wires that these wires before you solder them, they come apart so easily. But this is it's very, very um, it doesn't put any pressure on the pin. Again, you can see I put it in so that the kind of uh, ridge in the pin um, is facing me at this angle. So, um, 
but the pins are near square. Um, so you could probably put it in the other way, but um, I'd probably recommend keeping it uh, just this way because they do look a little bit uh, longer than they are wide. So, you know, put it in so that the pin also goes in in that proportion as well. So, so what goes next to it? It's going to be the red wire coming out of the brown. Again, mine is white. I apologize for this, but I don't think it's worth buying a whole nother uh, neck over. And who knows, I might just get another replacement part that has the same unfortunate thing. So, you know, let's just put it down, back down again. We say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right next to it is pin number two. So let's take that brown wire, find our red or grayish white wire in this case, and let's use minimal force, line it up with the pin, and push. And push it until it hits the bottom. And there you go, two in. And of course, we can always anticipate what's coming next. Brown to shield in pin three. Pin three is going to be right next door. It does become harder as you get more pins because you can't push stuff out of the way. But, you know, it's, um, I, I cannot, you know, if you've ever tried to solder these wires, um, I, I can't tell you how agonizing it is. I mean, this is, uh, this is night and day and already, uh, three done. So we are one fourth done. Um, with this, I'm just going to just take a picture for my blog just to show the uh, brown wire. Which has been placed in. Close up. Okay. And let's keep going. So next up is blue. So again, um, it goes um, you, uh, blue to red, blue to green, blue to shield. Um, and we're looking for pins now 9, 10, and 11. Okay. So 9 is the middle row. Again, starting from the left side. Here's what I call that analog area right here because that equilibrates to where the analog, if this was a DVD with analog, but this is just a DVD digital only, so that part was removed, but the area is still there, and it just makes a nice reference point. So anyway, we're starting at the left, and we're going in the middle row, right above where we just did with the blue wire. And you'll notice the colors are going to be the same as the colors below. So find our blue wire. And since it's nice just to take the other wires and kind of you know, fold them out of the way. You know, sometimes you accidentally grab the wrong wire and you actually insert it and you don't realize it until um, um, until you actually get to that wire that you've you've used it up, so to speak. So, um, again, we're going to go, I know I have it listed as, you know, 10, 9, 11, but just for convenience sake, let's start with the green. So we're going blue to green in pin number 9. And I apologize if I pull it out of shot, um, but trust me, there's not much to see here other than me trying to push a little pin into its receptacle. So, I don't know if you can see that. And just minimal force. Just push it in. Again, it should go in pretty smoothly. And you shouldn't have to use too much force. Um, I mean, I really, I really just got lucky with this connector, to be honest, um, in terms of just how well it fits the pins. So, next, pin number 10. It's going to be blue wire to red. Again, I'll state it again that you're going to see my white slash gray wire. This is supposed to be a red wire for uh, every other neck I've seen of this variation. So imagine that I'm holding the blue wire going into a red wire. This is the positive polarity and I'm trying to put it in exactly the same way. And I 
apologize, I'm pulling it out of shot. And once you get it lined up, just kind of give it a little push. And Okay, so you'll notice the blue to white wire. And so, of course, next is going to be the shield in pin number 11. So blue to shield, which is a black wire. Try to grip it properly. And then... Line it up and push. Okay. Make sure I don't twist this. And that none of the pins are touching each other either. So, again, let me just pause to take a picture. And so now the brown and blue wires are done. So let's move on to the next one. And I'm just going right down the pin out. Uh, we're going to go to green. And we're looking for pins 17, 18, and 19. And again, it's going to be the left side right above it, 17, 18, 19. So we're going to go to the top right above it. So green wire. And of course, we're going to start with the green, again, all the way to the left on the outside, okay? So the green wire going, so this is um, green to green, going into pin number 17. Next is going to be green to red, but of course, again, it's a white wire for me, going into pin number 18, and I hope I'm keeping it in shot for you. And push. And then finally, the green shield We'll be going into pin number 19. You see, I did lose one shield here, and this was the blue. So let's see, I'm not sure exactly why that came out, but I'll push it in again, and hopefully, I just didn't give it that last little push. Okay. And so let me make sure now I have the green. And again, you can see it's very easy for these wires to get somewhat tangled. But please trust me, this is a thousand times easier than soldering these wires. And we're just going to give it, hopefully not get other wires caught up in it though. Good. So, this part is now done. Uh, we now have um, three out of four of our signaling connectors connected. Okay, so again, I'm just going to put that down and just pause just quickly to take a quick just regular photo ok 
Okay. And of course, you could tell what's next. Now again, last should be the red wire. This wire is that white um, slash gray wire um, for, um, you know, again, whatever reason, uh, this wire had that switch. But imagine this is red, and this one's a little different. That's going on the other side. Um, now, just as kind of a, a little, it might seem like it's backwards, but think of it this way, that green wires should always be on the outside. So what we're looking for now are pins 22, 23, and 24. So where are those going to be? Well, they're going to be on the same top row that I just put that in, but on the right. And again, green wires are always on the out outside. So let's take our red wire. Again, I know this is gray, but it should be red. And we're going to take the green wire. So pins 22, 23, and then the last one out here is 24. So I'm going to start from the outside in, and I'm going to start with pin 24, which is red to green. Okay, so let me grab the green. So even though it seems like this is backwards of what we've been doing, the greens are always on the outside, the negatives. Okay, so you can see that. Push. So this is again on the top row, pin 24. Well, pin 23 is red to red. So again, this wire has this gray, it has some, for some reason, replaced red, this gray white. So we're going gray to gray, but it should be red to red. And that one's going right next to the green one we just placed in pin 23. Okay. And I'm sorry if I push, pull this out of shot. And push. And done. And we have one more. We have the shield. So pin 24 with the green wire, pin 23 with the red wire. I know it's white. <laughs> um, and these are, of course, connected to what's supposed to be the red wire. So now going in, 24, 23, 22. So 22 is the shield. Shields are always on the inside, just like gray wi uh, green wires are always on the outside. So again, because this is starting to get a little tight with all the other wires there, i just take a little extra second just to kind of isolate it. And again, I apologize if I'm pulling it out of shot. Okay. So I've got a good hold of it. Lining it up. And pushing. I want to make sure that it's not crushing any other wire. And once I have it pushed in, all the way, we're all set. And so I can't tell you how much time that saves. Um, I, I, if you. Hours, hours, and uh, this uh, this video now we're on 19 minutes. Um, it took to do this, so you know 20 minutes versus probably you know close to about you know 10 hours for soldering. So um, that's it for the black cable. Um, we're gonna move on to the uh, gray cable next, um, and that's our TMDSs hooked up, and we only have a few more to go.